Alright, so what is going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this pretty simple, pretty easy honey block, slime block, piston door, and this was requested by Mr. Panda. I really hope this is what you're looking for. The original design was made by Rogue Fox, so go check him out, link in the description. And I simply just tweaked it to make it uh, not as many resources and a little bit more compact. And yeah. To make it easier for me, if you have any tutorials, even if you already commented one that you want me to do, leave it in this, like, comment section, just so I don't have to be searching all over, uh, to find, like, what you guys have been requesting, and so I don't have to, um, like, I, I forget, you know? Like, I'm human, I forget, I can't always remember what you guys request, so just leave it in the comment of this video, and, yeah. So let's just get right to it. You will need you only need two levers. That's if you're using levers to open and close it. You will need eight redstone repeaters, 27 pieces of redstone, four honey blocks, five slime blocks, or you could do vice versa with five and four. Does not matter. Four pieces, 24 pieces of obsidian, a stack of um of any solid block just so you can surround it, and then like obviously your nine for the piston door actually. But since I'm using the same block, I'm just using a stack, and then four sticky pistons. The first thing you want to do is find out where your door is. So if I have my 3x3 three three door right here, you want to go right behind that and place your obsidian, because this is where the slime blocks and honey blocks are. They won't be able to move if they're latched on to all of this grass. So you want to place three right here, two to the right, and two to the left, and I'm getting my sides mixed up. Uh, two to the, to the left and the right. And then you can also break these blocks because we won't be like placing them yet. You want to go to the left side, place your uh, slime blocks or honey blocks in this shape, this C. And then go to this side, do your honey blocks like this. And as you can see, like if you do the exact same design, they'll fit like Jenga blocks or whatever they are. Like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So then you can place your vault or your door blocks right on those blocks so it should look like this. Now you're going to go to the edge, place a block there, piston facing in, another one on top of that facing in, so it's like this, same on the other side, so place a block on the floor, piston facing in, piston facing in, like that. You are going to place three normal blocks on this middle piston, so one, two, three. Do the same on the other side, one, two, three. Then you're going to place two pieces of obsidian like that, another two like this, and then put, and then two blocks out like this and that. Place two right there, one right there, two right here, one right there, and then make them all three to the light. So click them all two times. Left click them two times. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now you want your redstone, so you do that, do this, and you can start to make your walls like if you want to so build this up with obsidian because it's connected to like the slime blocks and stuff basically do that um you can start to make the inside look a little bit nicer because you're basically done with the redstone almost completely done with it and now we're good and then i'm just place your lever right there turn it on right here peter facing out peter facing out redstone down you want a block here then one next to it you want to shift click on this repeater have it come down like that. Bring your redstone along. Should extend that side and do the exact same. So you want to go here, go here. Shift click on that repeater. Just extend that out right on top of the piston. Bring your redstone up. Should extend. And the door should be closed. So when you flick the lever, it should open. Wait, there's something wrong with this. Did I do the tick front? Oh yeah, this this side I accidentally ticked one. All right, reset that. Make sure you don't tick it because I accidentally ticked that side. So now it works good. And you can walk right through, easy peasy. You might also want to patch up this side with obsidian and this side just so you can't see through the slime blocks or honey blocks. So now it's just good. Your door is all set and ready to go. If you would like to change the positioning of a lever or you want it to be able to close on the inside, just simply do this if you want to close on the inside. Alright, so that's pretty much the door. Um, yeah. Be sure to go check out Rogue Fox. Link to him is in the description. Go check him out. If you enjoyed, like. If you're new, subscribe. Remember to comment any tutorials you would like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next one. Goodbye.